Hi teachers, I thought during the COVID-19 lockdown, I would help you in uh, understanding that it is very important to create a recorded lesson which is of a good optimized size. Because when you shoot a lesson for 30 minutes, you don't want a situation that when you upload the lesson, it takes you hours. And when the parent or the student downloads, it takes you hours to do that. So let me quickly show you. I'll share my screen. And first thing I will explain you is, what do I mean by a good optimized lesson? Now, if you carefully see, an ideal video should have be of size 5 MB for one minute. Now, if you shoot a video for 30 minutes, a good optimized size is 100 to 150 MB. Now, when I say a good optimized size, I see that you could actually shoot an HD lesson wherein everything you show is very clear for the student. And when you shoot, it, uh, uh, when you download that video for 30 minutes, it should not take more than three to five minutes. You know, you don't want a student uh, to spend hours downloading it, right? I'll come back to this statement. When you record a video through iPhone, or an iPad, the video quality is really good, but a 30 minutes video can go as high as 300 MB for 15 minutes and 1 GB for 40 to 50 minutes. In fact, I have seen some teachers shooting a 30 minute video for 3.3 GB. Now, please understand a 3.3 GB will take almost 50 minutes to upload and almost one hour to download. Right, teachers? So how do I create a recorded lesson? Very simple. I go on zoom.us, I create an account. As soon as I create an account, what Zoom does is it gives you a software called as a Zoom client, which is when you click on the start Zoom, it gives you this option, this screen. Now, the only thing you need to do is now it shows me return a meeting here. It will be like start a meeting, right? So when you click on that, it gives you a screen here, which lets you start a recording, stop a recording, start sharing your screen. Now, because I have shared the screen with you, you could see that I could actually open up a PowerPoint, show the students PowerPoint. I could open Excel or I could actually navigate through the entire computer, like how I'm doing right now. So the advantage here is with a chatting software, like Zoom is predominantly a video conferencing software, but you are smart enough to actually create a meeting with yourself and share the screen in that. You could also annotate on it so you could actually write on top of the screen. So suppose you're trying to explain anything on a PowerPoint file. You could actually do that. So if I just open up a PowerPoint file, you can see my annotation is a senior. So it's a very useful software. I tell all the teachers to use it. But when you save this recording, so when you actually end the meeting, it automatically converts into an mp4 file but when it converts into an mp4 file the best part is the 30 minute video will be less than 100 150 mb now that's a boon for parents because if they are downloading seven eight lessons in a day you don't want them to spend a lot of time you in within 30 40 minutes all the seven eight lessons get downloaded for a parent so login into zoom.us create an account. During this COVID-19 lockdown, Zoom has been good enough, kind enough to actually not put a 40 minute restriction on a meeting. But even when you have a free account with Zoom, and when they start this restriction of 40 minute recording, it's good enough for you for a 30 minute session. You could actually, if you're a one hour session, you could break it down into two parts. But go on zoom.us, download the client, create an HD video, which is so clear for students and they will be really happy 
when it, it actually improves the downloading process for them because currently I have been seeing teachers creating wonderful lessons but they're huge huge to download so I hope this video was useful to you when you download the zoom client it's very simple try and play around with it and if I am a teacher what I would do is always do a two-minute test recording save it and see the size of it and see how clear it is when you share the screen okay teachers so thank you for watching with patience and i hope it was useful to you